But let's begin this morning from Texas to Maine. A total solar eclipse will put on a dramatic show today as it crosses over the United States. More than 30 million people live in the path of totality. I love saying that word, those words for some reason. <laughs> it sounds very cool. Uh, and they will also be witness to an event that won't be seen again in the lower 48 until 2044. We're keeping a close eye on the eclipse forecast. Right now, clouds are expected amongst much of the path of totality. The heaviest are expected. <laughs> That's crazy that Texas is where everybody was supposed to be. I know, right? And now it's going to, oh, no. But it's looking like it's going to be clear in Vermont, Maine, and Canada. Our Tony DeCopo starts our team coverage this hour from Indianapolis. They're arriving by the millions. This is going to be fun. Inside that 100-mile-wide path from Texas all the way to the northeast, where for a few mind-blowing minutes later today, the moon will block out the sun and cast a shadow across America. Here it comes! If you thought it was a big event the last time back in 2017, well, this eclipse is passing over nearly three times as many people. Good morning. And no viewing site will be larger than the Motor Speedway in Indianapolis. Up to 50,000 people expected, many even camping out for an experience that's described as an amazing sky show that unfortunately is difficult to describe. Paul Messerschmidt and his brother John are here for their 12th total eclipse between them. It's an opportunity to kind of share a communal event and maybe have a few moments of peace and tranquility. And after more than a half century of chasing, it's now a family-wide event, though no one can match the brother's passion, not even John's wife, Christine. You've heard all this before from these yes. guys. <laughs> but what is it that brings people out the first time? For Yvonne Reed, it's partly the way her friend Donna Witzel described her 2017 totality experience. Chills, you know, when the total happens, it's just like the whole world changes. For Andy Verstig, the hope is his dogs might wear eclipse glasses when the time comes. We're going to try to see if they'll look at it. I, I don't know. Getting dogs to look up is tough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dan, are you ready? No glasses, though, for Talisha Cabral's dog, Xander. She doubts he'll look up anyway, but she is bracing for that moment of totality. Yeah, it'll be cool. It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Is this your car? We spotted these folks because of the alien and solar eclipse or bust painted on their car. It's a natural occurrence. You can't make it happen. You can only wait for it to happen. For everyone here, in one way or another, it's about family and friends and community. Something so much larger than any of us, or even all of us. At the core of it, it's an astronomical event, but there's a kind of a sociological side, there's a, a psychological side. Are you in awe? Are you in wonder? Do you think I'm really small and insignificant? Or does this motivate you to do something more with your life? All right, let's bring in Janet Shamley. And now in Kerrville, Texas, that community, one of the first in the U.S. to see this solar yes. event. Janet, looks like a lot of people are really excited about this. Tell us about the atmosphere there in Kerrville right now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the the mood is excitement. I mean, we're four and a half hours away and people are already gathering in this downtown park. In fact, the Texas State University Astronomy Club is here. This is Stephen. He's got this big telescope. It's a refractor. Can I take a look? Absolutely. All right. Let's let's see in there. Yeah. So um, and they've got other telescopes and it's not just people like college students. I mean, we've got people from all over the country gathering here. I don't know if you can see that NASA tent over there, but they're going to be broadcasting live. This is one of only three places in the country that NASA will be broadcasting. So um, people are wearing coats and raincoats because we don't know, but the mood is excitement right now, guys. So uh, that telescope, uh, Janet, I, I didn't know you could look at a, a solar eclipse through a telescope, but I guess you can. Um, and so how many people are expected in town? So 25,000 people live here, and they're expecting as many as 100,000. And again, this is pretty early to be, you know, gathering in the park. I just ran into these folks. They're from southern Utah. Utah. Why did you come all this way? Wanted well, to see the eclipse. Yeah, yeah. path of totality. What yeah. if it rains? That's okay. We don't mind rain. <laughs> We're here for a good times, so... Yeah. Yeah, so that's what we're seeing. We're going to have a huge influx of people. They're very concerned about the traffic coming into town and coming to this park. So they've asked people to be here three hours in advance, and they are streaming in now. Janet, you've talked about the rain, but what about the clouds? I know a lot of people have their fingers crossed, hoping that they'll actually be able to see this eclipse. Yeah, I mean... 
I don't even know what to say because it, it, we're all very concerned, right? And you can see the skies <laughs> right now. It's, oh, pr it's, no. pr it's pretty darn cloudy. However, hope springs eternal. And uh, Stephanie Abrams from the Weather Channel, she's around in the Hill, Texas Hill Country. So she says in 1999, she was in similar conditions and right before totality, the clouds parted. She's a queen, so I'm going to trust that maybe she um, knows what she's talking about here and we'll, we'll have some luck. But it's not looking good, Vlad. Yeah, I think the heavens sometimes play cosmic jokes on humans because we didn't hype the one in 2017 yeah. as much as we've hyped this one. That one was beautiful. It was perfect. I was in Central Park. This one, we hyped it, so the cosmic joke's on us. Right. I don't know. <laughs> Janet, always great to have you. you Thank you very much. you got to be hopeful. You have to be a... Sure. All right. I, 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 will, I will share in your hope. <laughs>